Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. First of all, before we do hop into the video, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year and I hope you guys all had a really good Christmas. I wanted to make one more video before the year ended, so I quickly stopped me, like working on my other video to quickly film this one. So today we will be covering the strange legend of Masha. This is a tragic tale relating to a group of friends who had an unsettling night over there at the Odessa catacombs in Ukraine. So we'll be looking into what happened and how it happened. Now, the reason I chose this topic is because it has something to do with the holidays and like New Year's Eve. So I kind of wanted to like match it, you know, to fit the, to like fit the theme. But before we do dive into the video, I just want to say thank you for everyone watching. You know, the support's been absolutely insane. You know, as like at the making of re like recording this video, we just hit 750 subscribers. So it's crazy, you know, thank you for all the support. However, with that out of the way, and as usual, I hope you all enjoy the video. So what exactly happened? On New Year's Day, January 1st, 2005, a group of teenagers would head out on New Year's Eve to have a little party. They all decided to party in Odessa catacombs where they can have some privacy, drink, and have fun with a little added creep factor. Among the group, there was a young Ukrainian girl going by the name Masha. She too was headed into the Odessa catacombs to party as well. Clearly, this was a bad idea. It doesn't take a genius to understand how all of this can turn terribly wrong. The catacombs are not easy to navigate. Now many of you may be familiar with the Paris catacombs or the London catacombs, but did you know those catacombs pale in comparison to the catacombs beneath the city of Odessa in Ukraine? It is estimated that underneath the city the catacombs span over 1500 miles. That is huge, and to give you an idea of how big that really is, it's a little longer than the whole Pacific coastline of the United States. Without any guidance or experience, you can see how something can go terribly wrong here. The Odessa Catacombs is infamous for being filled with legends and dark stories. The catacombs range from various dead bodies to people getting lost or to Nazi executions and cultists. People estimate that the catacombs were probably first made around the 16th century. However, it wasn't until the 1800s that they reached the size they are today. Back in World War II, Ukrainian rebel groups hid within these catacombs. Various criminals and spies would use these exits and entrances to their advantage. Returning to the story, the group of friends arrive at the Odessa catacombs. There they decide to have some fun and drink. The New Year's party was great, everyone was drinking and having fun, and everything looked like it was going to be a good time. But everything took a sudden shift for Masha. At one point during the party, Masha decided to separate from the group and go explore the catacombs on her own. This was a fatal mistake, because we know they were all drinking, so we can make the assumption that Masha was in fact intoxicated. Trying to navigate the catacombs while drunk is asking to get lost. She quickly became lost and was separated from the group. They noticed that Masha was not around for a while and decided to search for a little bit, but ended up giving up, figuring she'd already gotten out or would get out on her own soon. The group was said to have stayed down there all night, but in the morning, they all hurried their way back home in the cold, leaving Masha behind. Now, from this point onwards, nobody knows the exact details of what happened to her. So these next couple of points are based on pure speculation. It's said that she spent the next three days wandering through the catacombs in complete darkness and in freezing temperatures. It is estimated that if she did walk away from the main entrance that she entered, she would have gone deeper underground, therefore the temperatures dropped even lower. She left with no food or water, so you can imagine the amount of torture she was going through, starving to death and dying from dehydration. Nobody exactly knows what happened to her, but it's stated that the most probable outcome is that she died due to dehydration. A massive search effort was launched, but they weren't able to find her amongst thousands of miles in the catacombs. Until... In April 2005, a little less than six months after the incident, her body was found by some catacomb explorers. Among the cave explorers, they said that they found the body miles away from the entrance and that the body appeared to be fresh. The body was mummified by the cool dry air and the body was wearing jeans and modern day shoes. After the body was already decomposing and lost its form altogether, it did appear to be the result of a fairly recent death. However, it could not be removed by the police until 2007, two years later, because she was so far away from any exit. No one is exactly sure how she did die, but it could have been dehydration or maybe hypothermia. Now, initially this is where the story ends, 
But it turns out, according to Kostya Pugovkin, okay, I butchered that, he was the one to fetch the body out of the catacombs. And when he ordered a DNA test to see if this was a body from a boy who went missing in 2004, it did not match. And in fact, the DNA belonged to a girl, so they assumed it was Masha's corpse. However, according to the official Odessa Catacombs website, they state the whole story of Masha is a lie. It is stated on a post that there isn't one person, civilian or law enforcement, that can confirm the story. We believe it is just a practical joke and the corpse is fake. So who's telling the truth? Well, it also turns out a journalist going by the name Lata was there at the catacombs when the photo of this photo right here of the explorers discovering the body was taken. Lata explains, there were four of us on that day when we, these pictures were taken. He wrote, and I really don't know where I can find these guys nowadays. So apparently the one in charge of the Odessa catacombs website is calling Lata a liar. So who's telling the truth? Is it real or not? Well. I guess that's up to the viewer to decide. But that's the end of the story. I know it was a short one, but I wanted to put something out there before the end of the year. So I hope you all did enjoy the video. And if you like this type of content, consider subscribing because I post content like this every single time. I can't wait to go into, into 2023 with you guys. It's been absolutely insane. I, so I really do like appreciate all the support you guys have been giving out to me. I really hope you guys a good, happy new year. Spend time with your family and be safe out there. And uh, that's about it. Bye.